Okay, so we do have Mr. Charles Turner back on the phone, a grid expert this morning. Can you hear me, Mr. Turner? I can hear you and sorry about the video. Hey, don't worry. We appreciate you talking with us early. Either way, just to give you some background, folks, he was chief designer and engineer of two different U.S. nuclear power plants. He was has designed and developed power grid systems and was called in to help redesign Puerto Rico power system infrastructure. We remember hearing about that after Hurricane Maria. Just wanted to give folks at home some background to understand that you know what you're talking about. So let's begin with this, Dr. Turner. People want to know, how did this happen? Um, how's a good question, basically, because I can give you any variety of uh, responses. But one of the things that I did uh, have done the last couple of days is to uh, dig back into um, the maintenance, uh, the maintenance and the operation, and also some decisions that were made some time ago. And uh, you might recall now, now. Now you are you from the area, and you live in the area here in Te in the uh, Dallas. Hello. I'm sorry. Yes, I do. Okay, yeah. So you'll remember 2011. We had the same. We had the same uh, freeze out in 2011 for the Super Bowl. And, oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Everyone remembers that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It was just like this, and what have you. There were some commitments made or promises made that were not delivered, and that's the very best I can share with you in terms of management um, not taking responsibility and promising what they did not deliver. Okay. And hate to put it harshly, but that's what I discovered. There were some attempts to try to upgrade and to um, uh, prepare the equipment uh, for uh, this type of a freeze predominantly, but I think it was not adequately done. Um, and certainly, I mean, the kind of cold we've had here is, is just rare for the most part. I don't remember how many decades ago uh, we've had this kind of temperature um, at, at this level, uh, basically. But uh, what I did discover is um, that the um, uh, the, the, the preparation, if you will, for the winter utilization of the power grid equipment is a lot different than the, the uh, requirements for the summer. Typically, electrical power companies uh, have their highest peaks in the summer predominantly because of the air conditioning requirements and uh, some industrial activity as well, too. So this came across as, as uh, I think, a big surprise to those who had would have hoped uh, would have hoped that, uh, you know, this did not Dr. occur. Dr. Turner, I'm sorry. We're going to have to come right back. We're going to have to come back to you, sir. We're running. Um, we have to go to a commercial break, but we will talk back with you here in just a little bit. Um, and we'll make sure we give viewers more information because it, it's very interesting what you're talking about this morning. Again, I'm so sorry, Dr. Turner. Oh, that's okay. Thank you.